In May 2022, I took a trip to Georgia to see my friend Sally. I got to enjoy good food, incredible natural landscapes, plenty of wildlife and cultural insights, and now I'm going to share all of that with you over the span of at least two videos with the help of my two guides, Sally and Irakli. <laughs> if you want to make this a drinking game, feel free to take a sip every time I say, Where are we now, Sally? Where are we now, Sally? Sally, where are we? So where are we now, guys? So, without further ado, let's go to Georgia. I stayed with Sally, which gave me the opportunity to enjoy delicious home-cooked Georgian meals. So, what's this called again? Lobbyani. And it's homemade from the kind from the, neighbor. Uh, old lady neighbor woman. As well as stunning views and a cute old dog. And say hi, Sally. Hi! <laughs> having a local with me meant having a free and informed guide to the city. And on this day, I had two guides. Do you want to say hello? Hi. Do you want to say hello? Hi. hi. <laughs> this is the mother of Georgia. She has a bowl of wine in one hand for the one who come with peace and the sword for the ones that are mean to us. She's badass. Over there is um, the bell tower which in orthodox culture has its own building and then the big church Action! There was a king that really liked to hunt One of the days this king went to hunt for birds and he killed a bird and when he found the bird that he just killed it was already cooked He was like, what? How could this be? How could this be that the bird we just shot is cooked? Turns out, they were <laughs> the bird is cooked in the sofa baths that are naturally hot and very, very nice for all the cancer that people get from the city. <laughs> and he was like, oh, that's cool. I'm gonna love the city here. And he did. And that's where we live now. That's really easy. And, and Tbilisi means warm because of the warm waters. Tbilisi sea. Baby. And this is an extra special this bath? Is, uh, well, no, it's just really. It's just one oh, Okay. Thank How am I doing? So good. I'm a bit tipsy with the <laughs> half a bottle of wine I had. <laughs> we were walking around a lot, which was very nice, but very tiring. How do you feel, Sally? I'm tired. Aww. <laughs> Eating my bag. And yet we persisted, sipping away at our Georgian wine until we got giddy enough to objectify the poor mother of Georgia. Oh, uh, not only is the mother of Georgia badass, she also has a good ass. <laughs> Look at her boobs. <laughs> Perfect. Sally, say hi. <laughs> After a long day of exploring the city, the Botanical Gardens and Nari Kala Fortress, we finally stopped for some long-awaited Georgian food. So what's this called? Sanjabuni. And to finish off the night, we enjoyed an incredible concert by the Ukrainian group Daka Braka.
The next day, we set off on our road trip. It was a real children at heart type of road trip in that any time we saw anything even mildly interesting, we pulled over to have a look. For example, we stopped here to enjoy this beautiful view. Unfortunately, we were soon swarmed by giant flies and panic ensued. Oh, Sally, where are we? We are on our way to Jabachetti. And this, we came across this beautiful view. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, I think it bit me. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's Three loads shot. of them. Ah. Oh, I'm sleeping. You're gonna be here. Yeah, there's another one. <laughs> what are they? Anyway, we continued to the beautiful Batania church, which we took our time to explore. Usually in the monasteries, whoever lives in the monastery gets buried um, in the garden. But this is this church is way too important for just random priests. Um, it's a thing, like in old Georgian churches, like in Treta, uh, for example, there's like the big old, uh, biggest kings are buried in the biggest churches. Just right in the middle of the church, there's like a grave. We were planning to stroll around a bit, but this gigantic dog that wanted to eat us put an end to that plan. I did not know how long the chain was. <laughs> I was like, there's a chain. No, there isn't. Yeah, there is. No, there isn't. Again, we stopped to enjoy a pretty flower field. Then, after just a few minutes further down the road, we drove and then walked up a hill to take a look at a lake we'd just seen on the map. We are uh, climbing over here. Oh yeah, we're going there to that, that, that big lake. That, 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 that. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> we're going to that lake over there? That lake over there. Cool. <laughs> okay, what's the name of this lake? Hello, sir. I'll interview you if, if, if I may. Hello, Sukri Kids. What's he got now? I think that it's just there. Oh, yeah. Hello, Sukri Kids. Uh, <laughs> how's your day going? My day is pretty fine. Before you came, you scared me a bit. What's oh, we're sorry, Mr. Cricket. We didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> There's no cricket. <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's green. That's Hello, Sukri Kids. I see you're not that scared of us anymore. Why is that? Because I realized you have a very nice sense of humor. Mm. Oh, thank you. I bet you do as well. But uh, you're being very official with us. <laughs> yeah, it's an official interview. I'm a politician. What are your thoughts on Ukraine? <laughs> Crisis. The war. Uh, it's not a war, it's a special operation. Fuck off, <laughs> We continued on our journey and got to enjoy some animals, like these terribly filmed cows and then some better filmed sheep. Oh, 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 oh,
Not long after we'd got back in the car did we stop to explore another body of water that we'd seen on the map. Here we sat in the grass and enjoyed watching the cows and listening to some Georgian music. So where are we now guys? Salka. Salka Reservoir. And there's a church under the water. <laughs> Yeah, I saw it's weird. We ended up deviating from our original plan and decided to camp at Lake Paravani, which was absolutely beautiful. We set up our tents, drank Jaja, and talked about how big the world is under the stars before going to sleep. I woke up the next day severely hungover, but to a wonderful view as well as to the pleasant sounds of nature. Birds, cows, frogs, and Sally singing. We had breakfast by the lake and continued to enjoy the nature around us. We said goodbye to our new friends, picked up our tent and continued on our journey. At this point we were very close to the Armenian border and we passed by a very interesting Armenian cemetery. So do you want to narrate and explain yeah, this? This guy yesterday was Armenian. Oh, the, the letters are Armenian. But like that guy, his wife hasn't died yet, so oh. there's a space left. Okay. 
Then we continued and found lots of huge birds with huge nests on top of all the lampposts and rooftops on one particular street. And since we apparently couldn't get enough of birds at this point, we visited this bird sanctuary place. And we were thoroughly entertained by these birds. The plaza? Oh yeah, I got it! You got it? Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. So wait, wait for it. it, it will come out. I hope it will come out. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh he's got something in his mouth! Really? Yeah. Mistaken. No, it's mistaken. Oh, look, look how good. Oh, he's playing with a stick. <laughs> Again, it was time to continue on, but not before getting some food in an Armenian restaurant which kind of freaked me out because there was so much food out, but nobody there and nobody, it seemed to me, in the area. But anyway. As our road trip continued, we came across a fortress, which is apparently super normal in Georgia. Driving here in between the mountains and there's a fortress. This is like the most normal thing. Yeah. What we saw yesterday, though. It was Armenia, or I don't know. Oh, it's like full fortress. This is Hetvisi Fortress. Cool. Uh, I will Google it and let you know something. It was oh. built during the Middle Ages. Oh, Our church and the catapult. It's under UNESCO protection, this one. Again we continued, passed through some cows and made yet another spontaneous stop to check out this beautiful abandoned building. Sally, where are we? We are somewhere on the road. We saw this abandoned building. <laughs> Finally, we arrived at the city of Borjomi. Where are we now, Sally? Is there a beach in Lyon? No. Where are we now? We're in Borjomi. No. Yes. <laughs> so, there you have the first three days of my trip to Georgia. If you enjoyed, make sure to stay tuned for the next video, which is going to be way more exciting. Trust me. See you then. Okay, I have an idea. On the count of three, say, welcome to Georgia. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> and put your hands up like this. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three, go. Yeah, yeah.